It has become one of the gold plate winners in Northeast Missouri sports, and now it's under new, familiar, and alumna direction. It's great just to be back and around the community and, you know, of the girls. That's nice just to be around them and, uh, yeah, it's, it's fun. It is also not a job devoid of towering expectations, as Kristen Caldwell is fast rediscovering. You just got to chuckle because it's like everyone's expectations are high and yeah, we won seven to one, but I think a lot of people were expecting a run roll and someone's like, oh, you'll hit better throughout the season. Coaching isn't the only reshuffling of the deck in Tiger Country, as Canton bid goodbye to the elite battery that powered that 2019 state runner-up finish. Whenever you know you graduate someone, someone has to step up, and that's what these girls are doing. Um, Abby Jarvis is on the mound to try to fill that. Abby, she's been in this position before, filling in, and she's had a pitch last year, so I think she'll do good. Stepping in as pitcher is definitely a role that's going to be hard to fill uh, without Abby Holtz, but you know, I just, I want to take the role on my hands, and I just want to do the best that I can for my team, and if that means working harder or extra, I'm willing to do that. Kenzie Biggerstaff's a freshman um, in the catcher role, so she has to grow up kind of fast, and these girls know that they got to step up. What isn't in question is the potency of this holdover lineup, even as one that could feature three freshmen in everyday roles. It feels really good, actually, because the uh, first two batters in our lineup, they're so fast, and they can hit and both bunt and get on easily. So then uh, me and then Abby, we both can just bring them around and get runs, and towards the end of our lineup, too, we're still pretty strong hitters. I don't have any doubt or fear um, in any part of my lineup. Uh, we just lost basically two uh, main hitters and all of our uh, rest of our starters are here too. So our lineup is pretty stacked. When I took this, I said, our job isn't just to get to state. Our goal is we're winning state. Like you guys went to state last year. Now we got to win it. And um, that's on our goal list that we're going to hang up in the dugout. And so they know that that's my expectation for them. And um, hopefully we can get there. What did you learn kind of last year being there and being so close and not quite getting it done? Yeah, I learned that uh, small mistakes truly do matter. It's the little things that count. And as long as that we can um, work on these errors and we can execute them properly, uh, we can win. I think we have really good teamwork and that showed like over the past couple years that we've went to state and we just show that we're proud of each other, encouraging each other, and just being good teammates. Here at Canton, all freshmen have the same standards as the seniors. We're expected to do our job and do well in what we do. And I think all of our players have the same potential as our seniors. And as long as we keep working hard, we can be the team that we were last year, if not better. Also tonight on the Canton side of things, the Tigers soccer team improves to 2-0. Four more goals for Zach Sparrow as Canton beats the Fulton School 7-5. In golf today at Westview, Jackson Murphy putting on a show with a flat stick. Save par on one, here on two, does likewise. Three, he gives himself a chance at birdie with this fantastic approach shot, which he'll just roll slightly past. Ended up firing 37 on the day. Good for medalist honors as Alani West takes first place with a 168. Pittsfield in second, Q&D in third, and it would be Camp Point Central in fourth in this event. Also today, the Palmyra girls end up finishing second in a four-team event at Kirksville, losing by five strokes to the host squad. And in case you missed it over the week, and Quincy golf legend Adam Pfeiffer won his second mid-Missouri amateur title in three years by six strokes in Jefferson City over the weekend. With your look at local sports, I'm sports director Chris Dewar.